April is Arab American Heritage Month. And the Arab American community is rich with diversity, entrepreneurship, culture, and art, especially our Arab American community right here in the D. A culture cornerstone of this community is the Arab American National Museum in Dearborn, the country's first and only museum dedicated to the Arab American experience. They are joining us now live to help us celebrate this month, and we want to welcome the director of the museum, Diana Abu Ali. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. Now, tell us a little bit about the Arab American Heritage Month and how the museum is celebrating. I can see you're in the beautiful rotunda of the museum. That's right. Um, I want to wish everybody and you as well, Tati, uh, happy Arab American Heritage Month and also happy Ramadan for those who are observing and fasting. Um, Arab American Heritage Month is a month where we celebrate the heritage of the uh, Arab community here in the United States. Uh, it's a longstanding uh, a community that's been here for about a century, a little longer. And here at the museum, we celebrate by um, having special events. Um, you know, we do uh, special, uh, you know, convenings, film series, things like that, just to sort of put out the word that today, this month is a special month where the Arab American community is celebrated and, um, yeah, celebrated. Yeah great opportunity for people to connect with the community as well. And Absolutely. one way that the museum celebrates Arab, Arab heritage is through is artist and residency program. Tell us about this. The artist and residency program here at the museum uh, began around 2016, 2017. What we do is we provide uh, a space for them to live, a space to work and uh, financial support where they can dedicate a lot of time or as much time as they need to their practice, to the work that they do. We try to support emerging artists as well as established artists, but we're very proud that we're possibly the only, only artist residency program that really targets Arab American uh, artists. Not all of our artists and residents are Arab American. We just we accept, you know, all everyone, but their practice has to somehow speak to the mission of the museum, which is to, you know, promote, preserve the history, culture, and, con and contributions of Arab Americans. And since you brought up the Air artist and residence program, I just want to say that we our call uh, for applications will be made uh, in a few days on April 20th. So if you're an artist, please please apply. Okay, that's awesome. Now, how can people support the Arab American community, not just this month, but all year round? I think, I mean, there's many ways to support the community. Uh, you can uh, support Arab uh, American owned businesses, uh, support Arab American artists. Uh, one way is to support the museum, which is dedicated to uplifting and supporting the community. We have membership we have memberships, and they're very inexpensive, and it's a great way to support this singular institution that's located here in Michigan. Now, where can people learn more about the Arab American Museum? You can go to our website, uh, www.arabamericanmuseum.org. Uh, that's probably the best way to learn about us. We're currently closed to the public, but once um, we open, uh, coming to the museum is a great way to learn about the museum, but also to learn about the history and contributions and the cultures of Arab Americans. Okay, and now what are some of the upcoming events that we should look out for? So um, we have a film series, uh, we have a monthly film series, and uh, we have a screening of Breaking Fast. So it's a film about Ramadan, um, and it's going to be screened on Saturday, April 24th, and Sunday, April uh, 25th, and that will be at 6 p.m. Uh, we also have a virtual open mic and iftar. Uh, this is an opportunity for artists and creatives to come and share their work. Um, it's also an iftar, so that's a breaking fast for Muslims who, you know, too fast during the day, but anyone can come and bring a snack or bring a meal. And the theme of the uh, event is what's on your plate. So participants can talk about um, what's on their plate, both figurative, literally, and figuratively as well. Um, I just want to also do a plug for a uh, new musical festival that we're holding. Uh, it's called Jama, which means gathering in Arabic. And it's going to take place in September 23rd to the 26th. It's a virtual music festival, and it's going to be really wonderful. We're gearing up for it, and we'll be, of course, putting out a lot more promotional information about it. 
That's wonderful. Thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing all of this information with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us.